Hi guys, it's RP here and in today's video I'll be showing you guys how to make that effect that you just saw in the intro. This effect is actually really easy to use and the only points you will have to have for this tutorial is the universe points and the sapphire points. Link to them in the description as usual. But enough talking, let's get right into the tutorial. So the first step is actually to time map the clip and then we are going to sync it up. So how to time map it? We are going to time map it in a little special way, so just follow along. Press on the clip, press Ctrl R, that will open the read on controls. Then you right click on the clip again, it just open read time curve. Press on this arrow right here and make sure that everything is unchecked beside read time speed. So nothing besides read time speed should be checked. What we are gonna do now, we are gonna find the first frame we see the numbers are fully built. So here we see this number is not gonna get bigger than this. We can scroll by. No, it doesn't get bigger than this. So this is the first frame, it becomes that big. So we'll just press on the arrow right here and press add speed point. What we are gonna do then, we are gonna find the first frame we see the shotgun before it pulls out. So if we scroll back with our arrow keys, this clip is a little bit unfortunate because we see that the wall is here, so we can't really see it. But if we zoom in, we can see that about here, this is the first one. We see a little bit of the shotgun. So we will press on the arrow again and press add speed button. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna go about in the middle. It don't have to be exact, but press on the arrow, add speed button. And now we should see, if you watch down here, that we have this keyframes already there because we already made it here and if those keyframes aren't there just press on the line and they should appear but now when we are done that so the first part right here we're gonna just drag it down to about 35 percent usually it feels good what we're gonna go do to this we're gonna drag it up all the way to about 250 you can play around with it yourself. All people have different velocities, but I feel like this is the best. Then we're gonna press on the keyframe that is in the middle, press on it, and press up here we see it's a little curve. Press on that curve, and it should become the little curve. We can zoom in a bit. And you should see that the two dots beside it, if you press on it, and we're gonna drag it out a bit. It's different for every clip. You just look what looks smoothest and what looks good. Now I will just add a little snowmo. Add the key from anywhere by pressing here, but it needs to be after this part and drag down to maybe like uh, 50% and it will look. And I like it, it looks pretty good. It's not synced at all, but we're gonna fix that right now. So, what we're gonna do now, we'll sync it, but we can close out with the read and controls and this by just pressing this symbol up here. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna find the first frame again where the numbers are fully built. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna press M on our keyboard that put our marker right there. Then we will go to our music and put down the marker where the beat and music you want the kill to happen on is. So I already, already made it, it's the same thing, just press M on your keyboard right here you want it to happen. Now we maybe need to shorten it down so it do don't overlap this clip before. And just, if you have this magnet so well, it should be really easy for you to just slip it in like this. And then you can drag it up so it fills out the whole slot of it here. And it should look somehow like this. Now we're gonna start to make the build up. So how to do the build up is press on the clip and find again the first frame we see the shotgun. We can't see, we can see a little bit of the shotgun right here. So just press Ctrl B on the clip and that will split it. So I'll split there, and then I again will split it on this marker where the numbers pop up. I usually do one frame before, it does, just flows better if you do that. Press Ctrl B, that will split it. And you should have a little clip in the middle of these two clips. Now we can zoom in a bit. And what we're gonna do now, we're basically gonna hold Alt and drag this part in the middle exactly over, and that will create an exact copy of what we just created above. But for now, we can press on the clip that's lower than this, than the original. Press D on it and just disable it. We don't need it right now. I'll tell you guys when you will need it. So now we can just press on this clip and go to Fusion tab down here. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna press Control Space on the median one and write in Dent and press on this smaller one. So not this that pop up here. Press on the smaller one. Open it up. If it doesn't pop up, do just the same thing many times because it's a bug. That is something that's not pop up. 
What we're gonna do now, we're gonna press on the dent, make it to type 3, and change the edge behavior to black. Black. What you're gonna do now is drag the size up to max, and make the strength to 0, and the effect should just disappear. What you're gonna do now is drag this cursor to the first frame, and keyframe the strength to 0. What you're gonna do now, you're gonna go 6 frames to the left. So it's different for everyone. Some people do 4, some people you do, do 8, but I usually feel like 6 is the best. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right here. Keyframe the strength again, and make it to negative 0.2. Press enter, and it should become like a little bit strange like this. Then we're gonna go about in the middle. So about here. Don't need to be exact, but around in the middle. Keyframe it again and make it to negative 0.225. That will make it even more like zoomed out like this. And then we're gonna go to the last frame. And from here, we're gonna go four frames to the right. So one, two, three, four. Keyframe the strength again and make it to negative 0.227. Press enter and it should become even more like sort of this thingy. Then on the last frame, just drag it as long to the right you can. Key from the strength again, make it to negative 0.08. Press enter and it should nearly become normal. And it should look pretty much like this. What we're gonna do now, we can go back to the edit tab. So once you are the edit tab, you're gonna find the first frame we see the clip. It don't mean that, but about it. Keyframe the transform everything by pressing this keyframe in the inspector. Then you go 10 frames to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Keyframe everything again by pressing this keyframe and drag out the zoom about a little bit, maybe like uh, 0.750. It usually looks pretty good. But now guys, as you see, it looks really cool, I like it really much, but we're gonna make it even cooler by adding a little effect. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna press on the clip above again, and hold Alt and drag it up a layer, so it creates another copy of this clip. What you're gonna do now, we're gonna press on the middle clip right here, and search up uni.ecto, drag it and drop it on this clip, and we'll see that it's a little like outline. Go to FX and drag this distribution to zero. Many people do different styles, but th I found that this is my favorite style. I like it really much. It just make a little outline. And why we made a copy above, because if we disable this real quick, we see that it glows really hard on the clip in the middle. And it will look really, really weird if it's dark here, and then for some reason it gets really light. So that's why we added the same thing, we can unstable, so it just covers that really light part. But it looks actually really good right now, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna actually play around with the background. So how to do that is we can real quick just disable the cl two clips above by just pressing D on them. Then we can undisable the background, that the lowest clip, and just press D, and this will pop up again. And what we're gonna do now, we are gonna go to open effects in the effects and search up S underscore hue. And this should top, pop up hue sad bright. Turn it on this, go to effect, take the color to whatever you want. Usually, I think red looks really good. You can change the hue shift a bit. It's, yeah, it looks pretty good as you see, guys. Turn down the brightness to about. 600 usually look good because it's better if it isn't uh, if it's isn't that bright and turn up the saturation to about 1.5 and should look really good now if we undisable the clips above it should look like this it's really laggy but it looks really clean as you guys see and if you want you can add a little kill effect whatever you want but i feel like i don't need any kill effect right now i feel like this is enough for this tutorial but, but hope you guys enjoyed it as i said many of you guys have wanted this tutorial for a really long time 
So I decided to make it to you. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Drop a like, drop a sub, help your boy out. And yeah, guys, see you on the next video.